Okay guys, here we are, September 13th, 2017, three days after Hurricane Irma. I had two layers of plastic over my fish house, the white tarp and the black shade cloth. So uh, me and my wife, we took down the white tarp and I cut off the sides of the shade cloth and I just left the top on which in retrospect was a mistake because we got hit with the strongest winds winds 120 miles an hour which is about 180 um, or more I guess 190 whatever kilometers an hour it ripped the plastic but the structure held up I need to start putting it back together you can see the fish tanks they're still going. I dropped the water and almost don't feed them. We have no power. We haven't had power in three days. I'm running everything on a gasoline generator that I have to fill up every eight hours. So there is no water change. I'm barely feeding them. Just sort of limping along. This is the new structure, the pavilion for the koi pond. It's got all ripped up as well. The 15,000 gallon filter. And that's all the uh, damage from Irma. Snap palm trees, fallen down pine trees, just mangled trees. That's what we got. Gotta clean it up now. It's gonna set me back quite a few months to have it all back together. But at least I, I learned a few things. I'll do it different and hopefully better. We've been cleaning up for three days, so some of the stuff is already looking good as it should. But most of it is still devastated. I'm walking on my roof. The garage and the pre-garage room just got rid of the water. The water receded a little bit. So we're drying up slowly and slowly cleaning up. I'm pleased how the uh, structure held up because those pieces of shade cloth, 95% shade cloth, it's pretty close to solid, they were flapping in the 120 mile an hour wind and those pieces are 55 feet long by approximately 15 to 25 feet wide and that's flapping in, in the, such a wind it usually takes down any structure but mine was way overbuilt thanks great many thanks to my engineer who made me do all this uh, modifications and reinforcements and I did pass my final inspection inspection of the structure about three or four years ago and the structure was supposed to build to handle 170 miles an hour wind so here we are. I'm gonna come down and show you some uh, some fish up close. Some fish are getting sunburn actually because they have <laughs> they have never seen sunlight, never seen so much UV as they're having right now. The big tree is uprooted. I don't know what to do about it. It's it's a huge hole where um, where the roots came up in the air okay coming down we 
this is again the koi pond enclosure and orchid trees down it's pretty messy I'm almost finished with I was almost finished doing the uh, the sides fixing the liner sides I just need to do this this one last bit right here took out some of our lanai right here so that part is missing most of the screen is missing there's a huge 30 foot royal palm tree that's down in the water right now and there is a there is a diving the uh, cormoran right by the by the koi pond. I need to chase it away. Yeah, he's not going anywhere. He's just went to the other tree. Yeah, that's the koi pond over there, which is in shambles. The studio held up, no broken windows. Those are 15 foot high glass windows. They held up. That's the koi pond over there. I need to clean it still. It's been three days, but I haven't had the chance to get in there. A lot of trees are down. This is the white tarp that we took down from the roof, me and my wife. Okay, that's the fish house. Not doing too shabby, I guess. I'm feeding them get about one tenth or one fifth of the usual diet. I don't know what's happening, but most of them are feeding cautiously and very little, but they are feeding a little bit. And go live, tiger, tiger shovel nose. I had, to I had to take out all the lids, so they've been open for three days. Just one uh, Vitaro's tiger fish jumped out from, that, uh, from this tank. But thank goodness I was right there, I plopped it back, back in there, so he's, he seems okay now. That one took a leap of faith. All right, my five remaining uh, Jurians catfish. A little Dorado, a little Kappa, two Dorados, whales on the other side. The water is low intentionally, so nobody jumps out too easily. These are Truckee Truckees. Two Piraibas from Mark Chan. Thank you, Mark. Longfish. Five Pirwini over there. Bold Catfish. American Datnoid. Blacktail. The jerk tank, all the jerks, purple labelle, Distichotus lusoso, Prochilotus lineatus, 
Dorado Resiliensis Two Leporanus Bandit, bandit Leporanus Upside down Mistus Upside down Asian catfish Okay My three foot longfish African, West African larger cup of radium a recent donation from uh, the rescue from uh, Orlando from Cape Coral hybrid shovel note a uh, hybrid uh, catfish these guys haven't eaten as you can see haven't eaten their food completely so they're stressed Gulpers. All stressed. A bunch of four lines, I think five of them. Tropical gar, the mangled up one. Eupterus. And last but not least, the two foot plus wells has been very moody it would feed every third or fourth feeding only here's the main tank the peaceful community so to speak Tor Udri Temensis Black Ear Tropical Gar Phoenix Barbs Giant Siamese carp, Katla Katla, Dissichotus sex, uh, sexfasiatum, Vitatus tigerfish, Arowana, Giant Gorami is missing chunk from his tail, the Yaha is missing chunk from the tail. That's the work of, uh, of the tiger fish. Flower horn is okay. Those are cigar sharks. From Ivan, awesome, from MFK. The Phoenix barbs are from Wes. It's another giant Siamese. There is the green uh, wolf fish from Wes. Kuraibu is right in the middle over there. I don't know if you can see him. Yeah, see how dark they are? They're never so dark. I think it's Sanborn. The Arowanas are very, very dark. Arapimo is resting in the corner. I think he ate he uh, it ate something last night because he's got a bump on his belly, but I don't know who it ate. Almost everybody's accounted for. Could have been a tinfoil barb or a or a bala shark, one of those, because I don't normally pay attention too much to them. Or could have been one of the red hooks. I had four, I only see three. I don't know what the fourth one is but they're pretty round all right and that's the big guys right here this Tichota sex fasciatum it's about two foot long just a little shy Paku various sizes that's one of the big big ones it's about two and a foot two and a half foot long about a foot and a half tall all the catfish are resting or stressed with too much light they don't like me much right now Baramundi 
and there is a Lir Lir Liriai Walago in the back there's Baramundi coming up Maroon sharks are circling in the back okay so that's a little update got a lot of work guys a lot of work Thanks for watching everybody.